the alpha fine structure constant has a, a really interesting property uh, in relation to the Hebeck singularity. If you think about the the relationship between um, C and V, which gives a 0 0.1002, and the relationship between um, the square root of V and the square root of C, uh, plus 1 over alpha, that inward trajectory takes it from 4e to the negative 14 through to 1.6e to the negative uh, 35 down at the singularity, which was the difference of 4e to the negative 22, and the square root of that of 2e to the negative 11. So there are, you know, there are a lot of numbers that I just threw at you, but what, what that relates to is that singularity and the permeativity and permeability of space at the singularity corresponding to mu naught and epsilon naught um, and the relationship to the velocity, um, you know, that, that number that I, I gave before in relation to uh, the square root of C plus 1 over alpha um, plus the square root of V plus 1 over alpha having, having to be you know, 72,001. Um, here we have a number 0.0072. You can see the relationship that there's 72,000, so that's, that's e to the negative 5. And if you think that's 1, 2, so e to the negative 7, which is around mu naught, right? 4 pi, the four spheres, the 10 to the negative 7 corresponding to the difference between um, the original kind of 72,000 velocity of the square root of v, the square root of c, and plus 1 over alpha, 1 over alpha for both of those to kind of give the membrane thickness. So we've kind of got a model that predicts alpha down at the singularity by understanding the geometry of the fundamental particles within the Hebeck, Hebeck singularity and the inward velocity of 72,000 corresponding to the Hubble constant. Um, the, the model provides four spheres um, at 4e to the negative 18 of a meter. And the difference between 4e to the negative 18 of a meter and 4e to the negative 14 of a meter is that 10,000. And so we can we can understand how uh, 1e to the 4, 1e to the 4 is 1e to the 8. Multiply that by c divided by v at 0 0.1002, and we get a number that's e to the power of 7. So there are ways in which calculations can be done using these fundamental numbers from the Hebeck singularity that allows us to get down to alpha. And that's really what I've been doing. I've been using empirical based approaches to understand where alpha originates from the inward trajectory of four particles uh, generating that dark matter particle, which then decays into a anti-hydrogen H10. So it's got one neutron and one positron. That tends to be an unstable atom with about uh, 10, or was that 15 minute stability time? So when we understand that that's decaying into a proton and an electron, we can understand there's a relationship in the decay process of dark matter into matter. And there's a process where the alpha particle dark energy is decaying into helium-3-2. And that dark matter dark energy decays synchronistically, or it decays in a synchronous process 
to maintain positron-electron pairs in that quantum entanglement, despite them being, you know, at opposite ends of the universe. So this original quantum helium fluid has quantumly entangled everything as this isotropic universe. It was homogeneous at the beginning and with alpha particle emission at 9.97 9 times the speed of light it gave a inflationary phase of the universe it wasn't a hot big bang it was the supersymmetry inversion event that alpha particles were emitted from the helix singularity and it provides a way of understanding why it's four pi in mu naught it gives you a, an understanding why H bar and C, and you know these are the features of the singularity with a diameter of the Planck scale, and we understand where the speed of light is originating from because of the decay velocity from alpha particles. They get slower, and as they get slower, they gain mass, and that mass that's gained is an angular momentum as well, and it corresponds to a velocity of c because it's around 10 percent of the original velocity that is what we see in the formation of the positron electron pairing and pi squared coming up to very similar to the 9.97 so the model kind of all fits together it comes together because of understanding the original singularity as uh, Bose-Einstein condensate of helium.